Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege video. Flores, otherwise known as Santiago Lucero, is an attacking operator who was introduced into the Rainbow Six team during Operation Crimson Heist. In today's video, I'm going to provide you all with three tips to help improve your gameplay as a Flores player. If any of these tips help you learn something new, leave a like down below. It helps push the video into YouTube's algorithm, so I would really appreciate it. But first, let's go over the basics. He's a two-speed, two-health operator equipped with four RCE drones, and inside his weapon arsenal, he has the choice to either bring the AR-33 assault rifle, rifle, which you may have used on Thatcher, or he has the option to bring the SR-25 DMR, also seen on Blackbeard. As for his secondary weapon, he has the GSH-18, which you may have remembered since the Russian operators share the same pistol. You probably don't use it much considering the alternative option is the PMM, and the PMM is just statistically better in every aspect. As for the utility choices, he has the option to bring either flashbangs or claymores. To summarize, what these drones do is pretty simple. You place the drone on the ground, immediately sending you into a drone phase. Within the drone phase, you have a 10 second timer to roll the drone to its intended target. Once it reaches its intended target, it encapsulates itself upon triggering on your end into a bulletproof status. Once the drone is in its bulletproof status, it cannot be shot out, but only broken via explosives. When that happens, it has a three to four second beeping countdown before exploding anything within the blast radius. The blast radius is about one to two meters, so it's similar to a nitro cell or an impact grenade. Some counters to note before you play Flores. Obviously, you guys will probably know this since this applies to really any type of drone itself, Twitch drone, regular drones. Electrified surfaces, break it, mute charges, stop it, mozzie pests take it over and basically make it null, and anyone on the defender side can shoot the drone out before it enters its bulletproof status. So technically, everyone is a direct counter if you get a line of sight on the drone and shoot it out, but sometimes the defenders do not have that line of sight, and that does take your ADS off of where the attackers are coming in, so this will foreshadow a tip coming up soon. With that said, let's get right into the three tips with Flores. Tip number one is going to be probably the most important tip that I can give from my experience with playing Flores, and this is going to be positioning. This is probably the most important one to consider since each drone has a 10 second timer before detonating. So since each drone is limited to that 10 second timer and also has a limited max roll length of 33 meters in a straight line, it's crucial to determine where you decide to place your drone. You do have some distance to work with, but those 10 seconds can go by very quickly when you start jumping over windows or jumping over objects or taking turns. It's a little bit slower than the normal drone, so it's not as agile as a regular drone on attack. The position of your character to the distance of your objective, whether that be sight, intel droning, or getting defensive denial is extremely important. It's crucial to utilize your time management based on your position, and I find that sometimes people don't give themselves enough time to reach their intended target, thus leading to no value for that drone. So to wrap this up, it's really going to be Find out what you want to attack as Flores, find out if you want to get the wall denial, if you want to get rid of ADSs, or if you want to get rid of specific shields. You got to figure out how far away they are and strategically choose where you're going to drop your drone and how far away you are from that target. Because like I said, that 10 seconds goes by very quickly. So hopping over that window, going up a stairway, taking a left, going straight into the site, it's going to take away some of that time and you might not reach it if you aren't good with your time management and the position to your object. With tip number one out of the way, let's get into tip number two here. So creating angles with drones. When playing Siege, the best thing you can do for your team is to open up lines of sight, whether that's above on ceilings, breaking soft hatches, soft walls, castle barricades, or shields. When doing this, this enables you and your team to utilize angles to get picks while also making your enemies uncomfortable since multiple angles are opened and exposing the sight of their position. Flores brings similar attributes compared to Buck, Ash, and Sophia. The RCE drone blows up in a hole that's almost identical to Zofia's impact charges and Ash's launcher. Since he has four of these drones, sometimes it's worth sending one in to pop a soft hatch or create a rotate between walls or between sites. If you do decide to bring the SR-25 for his primary weapon, you do have the ability to shoot six shots into soft hatches to avoid wasting a drone, but that's totally up to your loadout kit that you choose prior to engaging in the attack round. Of course, Flores definitely will not be better than Buck or the soft breachers in their job, but he comes really close if you're willing to sacrifice one of those drones on a ceiling or creating lines of sight. So to summarize this, really pick and choose what angles you want to open. Um, angles can include, you know, getting rid of a shield, opening up a castle barricade, or creating a rotate hole. I'm just thinking on Oregon in an attic. You know, having that ability to create these rotates makes it easier for your team to navigate the map and can possibly open up new routes for your team to attack. 
That one's pretty simple. Obviously, most people in Siege need to use destruction more to their advantage. Um, I find that people in this meta just W key and don't want to actually use these strategic methods of, you know, utilizing the floor destruction and the wall rotates and stuff like that. So definitely creating angles with your drones is another tip that I strongly encourage when playing Flores. So with the second tip out of the way, tip number three is going to be probably one of the second most important things with Flores, and that's going to be utility clear. When droning site, you want to ping as many gadgets as you can rolling in so you know where they are in your mind and know exactly where you want to detonate these drones. This provides more intel for your team if you have unseen operators or if you plan on attacking the site from a specific route. Once you're in site and close to your destruction phase, try and place your drones near utility denial, defensive denial, or any protection gadgets they might have on site like I said, defensive shields or castles, anything that can be blown up, which is pretty much every single defender gadget is a net positive trade for your utility. That can include maestro cams, ADSs from Jaeger, bulletproof cameras, frost mats, shields, literally anything you can think of can be blown up. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think literally every single defender gadget that is placed can be blown up by this. The only other thing I can think of is Clash's shield. If she's standing still, you can kill her, but it won't destroy it. Since you have four of these drones, it's extremely easy to get one piece of defender utility in a single drone life. Blowing up utility is Flores' main job, so if you do get one piece of utility per drone, you are playing him correctly. Anything more than that is great. I found some scenarios where I roll into sight and defenders place all of their utility in one section or one door they're trying to defend with no mute jammer blocking it. So it's very easy to just hop in, detonate it. Team can't do anything about it. If they have to throw an impact at it, it's still gonna get rid of their defender gadgets, but you're gonna get so much utility off of that. Um, I think I do have a clip in this video where I throw in a Flores drone and I get like almost a hundred points off of it, just destroying everything. So utility clear is going to be that one thing I want to drill into your guys' head is get utility off the board with Flores. He's a perfect counter to bandit tricking. So if you can get that bandit in and on that wall, it'll break those bandit charges, also exposing the floor below. So bandit is very uncomfortable trying to defend that wall. Since the drone does stick to services, if you can get a cage charge, say above the wall, if you throw it up next to it, it should reach it with the AOE explosive. But like I said, just getting rid of any utility is the best thing to do with Flores. So if you do get one, then you are playing him right. Any other gadgets is icing on the cake. So that is kind of all I have for the tips. I didn't want to make this a five tips video because I do have some tricks at the end and I didn't want to classify them as tips because they're kind of not really, you know, juicy enough for tips, but I'll kind of explain what I have for some tricks for Flores. The first trick I'm going to put up on screen right now was found a few months after Flores was initially put into the game. If you punch a hole in a soft wall level with your character straight on, then punch another hole directly above that first hole. This will allow your RC drone to reset the jump then jump higher on the wall, getting parts of the ceiling. This trick is very situational and may only present itself on a few maps, but when you do so, it's very satisfying to either get a kill or utility from below. Um, just right now recording this, I'm thinking of coastline um, below in blue bar. If you're able to punch that, if you take control of the first floor and you're able to create this trick, you can get utility from above on that rotate hole or if somebody is on that rotate. I will put in this video, obviously, some other spots that I find. Um, but it's very situational, but when you do do it, it's very fun. And if you get that kill, you know, they don't know from below. All they hear is just a beeping or a, f a vague beeping, and then they just explode. It's kind of funny. The second trick I have for you is when you first deploy the drone, you can let the drone roll for a second, then immediately exit the drone phase. This will allow your drone to roll in a straight line on its own, and you can push up behind the drone. The reason why this is useful is in some scenarios that I've had, some players don't actually know you can hop off the drone and let the floor as drone roll on its own. They think that in order for the drone to roll, you have to be engaging in the drone phase as Flores. Uh, but this causes some players to think that Flores is on his drone, and instead they'll push past that drone trying to find out where you are, but your gun is ready for the fight since you just clicked out of that drone phase. I also think it's kind of cool, you know, walking behind your drone, tricking somebody to thinking you're on your drone and then getting a kill off of it. Um, I've had it save me in a couple positions in a 1vx scenario where I just let the drone roll in and they think I'm on my drone and they kind of get hyper aggressive. So I'm able to get a couple kills off of that. If I have any kills of this happening, I will include it in the video. 
Um, but that is all I have for you guys for tips with Flores. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you did learn something new about Flores. I decided to make this three tips instead of five, like I said, because the last two were tricks, not really tips, and I wanted the tips to have real meaning behind them and actually help improve your gameplay experience with Flores. So with that, if you have any other operators you would like to see for tips, please let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you taking your time to watch today's video, and I hope life is well for all of you. With that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. I appreciate it. Adios. Have a good night, day, evening, whatever it is. I'm not sure. It's like evening when I'm recording this. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Bro, how did that echo not move? He just stood there and blew up. Was he on his drone? No, he was he was aiming at the door with his gun. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know what Flores does, is then he needs you to make a guide. So that he... You're right. So that he goes on YouTube right now and looks up who is this operator Flores and why did I die to an explosive RCXD? What am I in Call of Duty Black Ops 2?